And we begin tonight with game-changing news on the COVID front. Colorado's first doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine have shipped. The state is now expecting some 40,000 doses this week. UPS provided video of trucks loaded with the vaccine, leaving a facility in Kentucky. J&J's is a single-dose vaccine. Also, it does not need to be kept at those extremely cold temperatures like the others. Its effectiveness in preventing COVID is a bit lower, but researchers say it is 100 percent effective at preventing serious illness and death. March will no doubt be a big month for Colorado's vaccination efforts. The state expects 850,000 doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines to arrive this month, plus 400,000 doses of that Johnson & Johnson version. With this many doses and a huge surge of people becoming eligible, there will be large-scale vaccination clinics. Those will be located at Ball Arena, Dick's Sporting Goods Park, the Grand Junction Convention Center, Broadmoor World Arena in Colorado Springs, the Pueblo Mall, and the Ranch Events Complex in Loveland. Tonight, CBS 4's Alan Janae starts us off from Ball Arena. Alan, the new vaccine we know is different, but it does have some advantages. Well, it does, Jim. You know, big evac vaccination events like the ones planned for Ball Arena here behind me are one thing, but you know, this new vaccine may make it easier to get into rural areas and to underserved neighborhoods because it doesn't require freezing, only refrigeration. It is another missile in an arms race. Maybe we never thought we'd come to be chatting about data on vaccine efficacy rates, but here we are more than a year into COVID. I guess I would prefer to have one that had a higher efficacy. And there's a lot to think about. My interest is making sure that I'm not hospitalized and reduce the uh, risk of death. And that's where the Johnson & Johnson vaccine comes very close to the others, says UC Health's chief clinical research officer. And it was actually around 85% effective in preventing severe and critical illness. Dr. Thomas Campbell notes the other vaccines are slightly higher, but the Johnson & Johnson was tested more extensively in Central and South America and Africa where hospitalization rates might be different. A single-dose vaccine does offer the chance to vaccinate people harder to reach. Homeless communities or migrant communities where people are moving around and it might be impossible to get them back for that second dose in three to four weeks. All the vaccines may ultimately require boosters as variants change the virus. What's important is for everyone to get vaccinated as soon as possible and worry about the fine-tuning uh, at a later time. I would recommend them all equally. And that's where some people are right now, a year later. I'm just excited to f have access when I can get there. Well, this is, a, this is a different type of vaccine than the others, but Dr. Campbell notes that that likely means that the reaction you'll get to that one shot is maybe not as harsh as you'll get with that second shot of the others. And he does want to point out one other thing. Research on this vaccines, particularly this one, does show that it is safe and it is effective for both African-Americans and Hispanic people. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.